All right, folks, here's a uh, another quick on junk video. Uh, this one, uh, let's see here. We can call this one sort of a, a field fine, a garage fine, a barn fine, whatever you want to call it. Look at this thing. Looks uh, like it's been sitting here for a while, right? Uh, this is my buddy, uh, my buddy's car. Uh, I think you saw the video where I did on the uh, four-door wagon. If not, go check that one out. But anyway, this is his 55 Chevy Nomad. It's a Bel Air. Uh, for you folks that may not know, Bel Air was uh, the more upscale trim level, if you will. So um, I remember one time I called this thing a wagon, and he got all bent out of shape, seriously. He's like, it's not a wagon, it's a Nomad. So just for any of you guys uh these nomad owners really uh are passionate about it being not called a wagon but a nomad um it was cool though he was just kidding but anyway um little knowledge for you this thing is cool i remember he bought this like i don't know i remember it at least 15 years ago or so um it was already done like this i believe all painted and everything what are you trying to fire her up? Yeah. Think she'll run? How long has it been sitting? Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. We got a first start after uh, sitting for a year. Whoa, we had fire in the hole. Come on, get this baby going. Get her out of the wood weeds. You want me to spray some down? Look at that, there it is! There it is! She's alive! Wow, you guys got to uh, actually witness a uh, first start after sitting for about a year. Got like a newer, small block in it. You can tell because of the valve covers. Looks like he's got a full. Hey, hey, you got a fuel leak. You might want to uh, hold off on that. You got a fuel leak, right? right yeah. You knew about it? Yeah. Awesome. She ran good though. It runs. So how long have you owned this thing? I mean, I God. I go back like 15 years, I yeah, think, if not. Was it about that? Yeah. I, I, I remember you being at Lebanon Valley and running. Well, that's where I bought it. Yeah, and you were running furiously, like, out of the swap meet, like, and I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, ah, I just bought a, a Nomad. And I'm like, oh, you bought a wagon. And your response was, a what? <laughs> Megan, thing has got no rust or rot or anything like that. I remember, like I said, when he bought it, he got it in this condition. And like anything, we all have a bunch of cars and stuff. And, you know, you can't keep them all up as much as we have a passion for it and we love them. But at the end of the day, if you're able to, you know, in your life own a car like this then i guess that's a win right there right so not many people even would have the ability to buy obviously been to uh the adirondack nationals many times but again just a quick video give you guys a little something 55 chevy Bel Air nomad don't call it a wagon so as we say all the time and on junk, they ain't gotta be pretty. They don't even have to be cute. They can be sitting in the weeds. They can be in a uh, lean-to, a carport, a garage. Oh, we'll do some features on a few of these other ones back here, but we really can't show you all that right now. But anyway, um, on junk for life, baby. All day, every day. So if you made it this far, through the video i want to thank you make sure you subscribe and hit that alert button so you get the updates
because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Wait till you see this thing. It's going to be awesome. Peace.